Hello and welcome to this Pro Tools Tips video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a click track and adjust tempos within Pro Tools. So I've made a new session and I'm going to create a click track by coming up here and going track, then create click track. Let's drag it out so we can see it better. And let's have a listen. Okay, so let's say I don't like the beeping and I prefer a shaker. I can click on the plug in here and I can adjust the click sounds. So what this says is click one and click two. So click one is always the first beat of the bar and click two is all the following ones. So beats two, three, and four. So I'm gonna change click one to shaker two, accentuated, so a little bit louder. And I'm gonna change beats two, three, and four to normal shaker two. Let's have a listen. Great, okay. So now I wanna set the tempo for our song. So what we wanna do is we wanna close this down and we wanna bring up the transport. So window, transport. Now there's two different ways to set tempo in Pro Tools. The first way is to have this button off, it's a conductor track button, and set it here for the whole song. So let's say we want it at 150 BPM, we just click on it, type in what we want, 150, press enter, and you'll see the song's now in manual tempo mode, 150 BPM. Now, we're gonna do it the other way, which is to have this button depressed, so we want this conductor track blue. And the reason we want that is when we have this depressed, Pro Tools listens to anything in the event list up here, so any tempo or time signature changes. And this is good because it means we can start off with one tempo and then we can change as many times as we want or change the time signature. Whereas if we have it in this mode, we can't do that. So you wanna make sure you have this button depressed, this conductor button, so you want it blue. And we can close that now. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is come to this gray area here and right click here. And you wanna make sure that the tempo and meter buttons are ticked. So what are these? Well, the tempo is the tempo, so it sets the speed. And the meter is the time signaturing. So I'm gonna change the tempo now. I'm gonna click wherever I want to change the tempo. So we wanna change it at bar one, so I click at bar one. And I wanna click the little plus across from tempo. And we can set it here. So let's set it to 150 BPM. Great, okay. So let's do that again. And let's say we don't know the BPM, but we wanna find it out. So you can click this button, highlight this, and you can tap the tempo out by hitting the T button. So if I know the song goes like this, I can see that it's around 125 BPM. So that sounds about right, so let's set that. And let's say at bar 25, the song's gonna slow down. So we're gonna click the plus again next to tempo, and we're gonna go down to 95. And it also here changes to three, four. So to change that, I just come across to meter, follow it across to the plus, click it, and I want to change it to three, four. So I type in three, hit okay, and we're now in three, four. So let's have a listen to the change. Perfect, okay. So the last thing today, I just wanna show you how to mute the metronome. So the basic way is to just hit the mute button. We'll no longer play. And the other way is to bring back up the transport. So window, transport. And this blue button here that looks like a metronome, that controls whether the metronome is active. So if I turn that off, hit play, no metronome. Turn it back on, metronome. So if you're playing along and for some reason you don't have a metronome and this is not muted, it's probably this and you want to have this selected. So what we've done is we've made a click track and we've changed the sound of the click. We've talked about the conductor tool and we set the tempo and then change the tempo later on. And we've set the time signature. So next time I'm going to be talking to you about sample rate and bit depth. So these are the settings that come up when you create a new session. Thanks for watching. Hope it's been useful and I'll see you next time.